Hey, if you're trying to get your first wholesale deal, I wanna show you how you can get your first wholesale deal in 14 days or less. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is James Hodges, and this channel is all about how to show you how to build a seven-figure wholesaling or flipping company that can run without you. Now, in this video, I wanna show you the step-by-step -step process of what you need to do if you wanna get your first wholesale deal in 14 days or less. Now, when I first started, if you aren't familiar with my journey, I was able to get my very first wholesale deal within 21 days of starting wholesaling. Now, at that time, I was brand new and I didn't have anybody really instructing me on the best way to approach wholesaling and how to get started in the most efficient way possible. Had I had a video like this, I probably would have been able to get it done in 14 days or less. And that's why I wanna show you the most efficient way to get your first wholesale deal so that you can get your first deal in 14 days or even faster. Now, there are two options that I wanna show you on how to get your first wholesale deal in 14 days or less. Now, the two options are going to be determined by how much budget you have to put into marketing because I'm gonna give option number one is the best option, it's gonna be the fastest option but it does require some marketing spend in order to get that first deal. Now, option number two is going to be if you have a lower budget and you don't have much money or any money to put towards marketing. So let's start with option number one. The fastest way to get your first wholesale deal is going to be to pull a list of motivated sellers. Now, there are three lists that I'm going to recommend that you pull if you're going to take this approach. And once we pull those lists, we're going to then target that list with SMS marketing and voice broadcast marketing uh, because those are some of the lowest cost per acquisition channels. It's going to allow us to cover a lot of ground quickly. I'll explain more in just a second. Now, as far as the lists are concerned, I would use a software like PropStream and I'll include a link down in the description for a free trial for PropStream. Now with PropStream, you can go on there and you can pull a motivated seller list. Now I want to pull three lists if I were just getting started. The three lists that I would pull if I were just getting started are going to be number one, what's called a vacant property list. Now, if you want to know exactly how to pull these lists step by step, I'm going to include a link to a video where I show you inside PropStream exactly how to pull these lists step by step. So the first house that we're gonna pull inside PropStream is going to be the vacant property list. Now the vacant property list is a list of properties where the US Postal Service has deemed these properties vacant and we can pull a list of all of the properties in our area where the houses are vacant. That means that nobody's living in those houses. So that usually means that the seller doesn't really wanna keep the house. So first list is gonna be the vacant property list. The second list that we're gonna target is a tax delinquent list. Now a tax delinquent list is going to be a list of property owners that are behind on their property tax payments. So that means that these homeowners have not paid their property taxes, and usually that means they could be in financial distress. Typically, if somebody is in financial distress, that means that they might be willing to sell their house at a greater discount. So that makes this a great list to target with our marketing. And then the third list that we're going to target is what's called a tired landlord list. Now, a tired landlord list is a list of absentee property owners that have owned their property for a long period of time and they have a high amount of equity in the property. And tired landlord lists are great lists to target because the reason why it's called the tired landlord list is a lot of these property owners may be tired of being landlords and the reason why they are on a tired landlord list is because they are an individual, meaning they don't own the property under an LLC, and they've owned the property for a long period of time. Typically, individuals who own absentee properties for a long period of time may become tired of being landlords. And if you target the owners who have owned the properties for more than 10 years, that means we have a really high chance that they are tired of being landlords and they don't want to deal with tenants anymore. So that makes it a great list to target. And I've pulled countless deals from all three of these lists. And once we pull these lists, now we wanna target them with SMS marketing or voice broadcast. My preference is to do both because if you do SMS marketing, you're only gonna be able to target the mobile numbers. And with the mobile numbers, we're missing out on typically 
40 to 50 percent of the phone numbers that we receive back whenever we get our list skip traced now if you're not familiar with skip tracing skip tracing is the process of obtaining the owner's contact information after we purchase a list the company i use is called skip matrix i've included that link down in the description below and then as far as sms is concerned i use a company called launch control and i've also included a link down in the description below for that as well if you use my link for launch control then you will actually be able to get my personal scripts my sms scripts that we use inside of my company uploaded directly into your launch control account that's one of the perks of using the link that i provided in the description so with sms Typically, we want to send a high volume of SMS if we can. That means that if we are on the base plan inside Launch Control, we want to send about 1,000 to 1,250 text messages per day. I know this may seem like a lot, but after you get into the swing of things, it actually is not that many because you can send out large batches at a time. And the majority of the people who respond back are going to, going to tell you no, they're not interested in selling. So really, it's just a matter of sifting through those conversations and you'll be able to see the exact scripting that we use if you just use the link down below. Now, the next platform that I recommend to use is called Message Communications, and that is a voice broadcast platform. Now, I would put a disclaimer on this. Make sure that you check with your state regulations to ensure that voice broadcast is legal in, in your state because there are some states that have regulations against voice broadcast. So make sure that you check your own state before you start using voice broadcast. Now, with voice broadcast, I recommend to send out five to 10,000 voice broadcast messages per week. This is going to ensure that you're getting in front of enough property owners to help you get that deal as fast as possible. Now, if you use these two channels, you're going to have the best chance of getting in conversations with homeowners and getting that deal as fast as possible. Now, if you are on a smaller budget and you need to go with option two, Option number two, what I would recommend is driving for dollars. Now, what driving for dollars is, is going out and driving in your car and picking a neighborhood and literally driving street by street in that neighborhood and looking for distressed properties. Now, to be able to spot a distressed property, you're going to be looking for tall grass in the lawn. You're going to be looking for a mailbox that's overstuffed or overflowing with mail or you're going to be looking for a property that could be boarded up. There could be boarded up windows. Basically, you're looking for a property that looks like nobody lives in the property. And what you want to do as you're driving around in the neighborhoods, you go street by street, as many neighborhoods as you can. What you want to do is you want to document all of these addresses. Now, when I was first starting, I didn't use any apps. There are apps out there like Deal Machine and the Driving for Dollars app or Batch Driven. All of those are great options. If you want to go that route, or you can just keep a spreadsheet on your phone. I literally used Google Sheets and I would just document all of the addresses on my phone. And that's completely free to use. With these apps, they're basically going to put the properties into a spreadsheet for you so that you don't have to compile the spreadsheet yourself. You just document it right in the app and they will do the compiling of the spreadsheet for you. Now, if you're using Batch, you can get it skip traced directly in the app or you can use skip matrix which is my recommended skip tracing provider and get the discount code that we provide for you and so once you have your list built now as far as the target number for the list i would recommend to put between 500 and a thousand properties on this list typically if you put 500 to a thousand properties that means that when you go to reach out to these people that you are going to be able to have enough options, enough opportunities to speak with homeowners to find that one motivated seller who's willing to sell their house at a discount. Now, once you get your list compiled, you want to get the list skip traced. Again, my recommended provider is Skip Matrix. We've got the link down below if you want to use that provider with the discount code attached. Now, once you get the list skip traced, now you can start reaching out to these people and there's a couple of options. You can use a dialer if you want to use a dialer. You can use a dialer like Mojo Dialer, or you can use your cell phone and you can get an app called Google Voice, or you can get an app called GoDaddy Smart Line, which is basically a second phone line for your phone. This is actually how I was able to get my second deal ever was I drove for dollars. I built a list exactly the way that I'm describing to you. And I had a GoDaddy Smart Line 
that I called each person on that list after I had skip traced them and I reached out to them and I found a landlord who did not want to own a rental property anymore. I called her, I made an offer on the property and within two hours of speaking to this woman, we were meeting at a coffee shop and we signed the contract that day. That's how quickly it can happen for you. If you just take the right actions, you take the right actions forward and make forward progress inside of your business. So guys, those are gonna be the fastest ways to get your first wholesale deal within 14 days or less. I assure you, if you take massive action following these steps, you will get your first deal. What will it be in 14 days? That's going to determine how much volume you take and the level of action that you take. But if you take action on these steps, you will get your first deal. And I've gotten deals from every single process that I laid out in this video. So it's just a matter of time before you get your first deal as well. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find the video helpful, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that we know that you enjoyed it and we can make more videos like this in the future. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions so that we can get your questions answered ASAP. And then lastly, if you want more training every single week on how to grow your wholesaling or flipping company to the seven figure level and beyond, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn all of the notifications on so that you never miss a training video on how to grow your wholesaling business to seven figures and beyond.